I'm Nathan Nolan, a.k.a. Mr. Drink and Eat, a food, drink, and travel presenter based in London. Last October, I was invited to Le Pic saint Lou, a wine region in the south of France, for their annual wine auction, Vente aux Enchères. Took a short flight to Carcassonne, where Pascal, one of our hosts, picked us up. And then we drove northeast, up past Montpellier, through the vineyards, to the village of saint bozille de Montmel, where we'd be staying for the next few days. So, we've arrived. What a spot. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? I'm here at Lodge Saint Germain, or Mass Saint Germain, and it's just such a beautiful spot here. Incredible building and grounds, and then you've got these views, olive trees, and then you've got Peak Saint Lou itself, just up there on the left, that pointy peak there. It's just such a stunning spot. The sun's going down. Uh, I was thinking about a swim, but I don't know anymore. I didn't bring my trunks. This is where we're gonna be staying for the next few days. I feel very spoiled right now. Good morning. Well, I had a fantastic sleep here last night. So quiet at Mass Saint Germain here. The birds are twittering. The wind is in the trees, the sun is out. It is quite cold though. For dinner last night, we went along to a place called Pic Saint Lou in a village further along called Les Matel. Had a really, really wonderful meal. Met the rest of the journalists, had some beautiful Pic Saint Lou wines. Pic Saint Lou is interesting in that it does Asian cuisine alongside French cuisine. So I had these sort of salad rolls or spring rolls for my starter, beautiful crab in one and and then prawn in another. And then I had steak with wild mushrooms and parsnip puree. Dessert was a rum bubba, which I don't know if I've ever had before, but I'll definitely have again. We then headed off to our first winery, Domaine de la Jazz, where we met winemaker Bruno Le Breton. In the beautiful restored church that is now his cellar, Bruno took us through some of his powerful Cabernet and Merlot dominated wines. We made our way to Mass des Baumes, home to Eric Tapier and Laurent Sostak's restaurant La Cour. The Bergerie de Lortus wines went beautifully with our delicious lunch of rabbit terrine, fillet de boeuf, and for dessert, apple tatin. Joining us for lunch was the fascinating and enigmatic Jean-Philippe Granier, technical director of the Coteau de Languedoc wines. After a short diversion to learn about the rich history of glass making in the area, we traveled to the village of Vacquier and Chateau Lescaut, run by 14th generation winemaker Jean-Benoit Chevalier. His organic wines showed great character, with Syrah and Grenache blends leading the way. Dinner that night was at Clos des Oliviers in saint gély de fesque Well, thankfully, the ice had been well and truly broken between the French and the English journalists, and we had a really, really fun night. La <laughs> mettre sur mon blog. <laughs> <laughs>